say 12 billion also means that should be good news for he says and they say yes. So you see, <clears throat> when a country is given to you to govern, and out of unbridled corruption, reckless spending, among many, you drive the economy to its knees into zero to a point where the economy begins to register a debt to GDP ratio of 104. What you demonstrate is candor. What you demonstrate is responsibility and a certain level of remorse. But the people who are in charge of governance today, out of arrogance, share decision to gaslight the people. They look you in the face and tell you that they have saved us money. Because they say Russia and COVID right. in Ukraine. You have not saved us anything. What you have done is to impoverish our people. As we speak today, by raising solely of the domestic debt exchange program, personal bondholders, persons who bought government of Ghana bonds and security instruments, have lost 61 billion Ghana cities. And you come here and tell me it's a savings. How is that a savings? What you need to ask yourself fundamentally is that before Akufado became president, before Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya became the chairman of the economic management team, has Ghanaian ever gone through a DDP? That is a fundamental question. If you don't answer that question, you are being mischievous and dishonest. External shocks. He talks about external shocks. First of all, COVID-19. You know the problem. The 2020 election spending, for the first time since 1992, we had a budget deficit of 15%. Ask him, when was the last time that we had a budget deficit of 15% since 1992? That is where the problem is. Akufado desire, together with Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, to win the 2020 election at all costs, resulted in a budget deficit of 15%. That is what we are trying to recover from. They dug a deep hole, bottomless hole, and that from 2020, we've been struggling to fill that hole. That is what the problem is. And not COVID-19. I've heard MPP communicators say COVID-19. First of all, you claim that by reason of COVID-19, you had a budget, a, a, a revenue shortfall of 14 billion. Even let's say for the sake of argument, it's true. That same year, you had uh, uh, the IMF giving you $1 billion rapid credit facility. You went for another $1 billion the special drawing rights. The IMF, uh, the World Bank alone gave you $600 million. South Korea gave you $83 million. Germany gave you so much money. You went to the Bank of Ghana and borrowed $10 billion, Ghana cities, within COVID, within one election cycle. So even if COVID resulted in revenue shortfall of $14 billion, you net it against the money you made by reason only of COVID-19. You made over 21 billion Ghana cities. So COVID was a gain. You were just irresponsible. You were just corrupt. You were just... In fact, they stole Ghana's money, painfully. How, 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 how do you explain I'll that? tell you this. You know, Akufuado, when in 2020 decided to go to the IMF, the IMF demanded an audit of COVID funds. That COVID was not, uh, 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 audit was not done by Domelevo. It was done by Kufado's appointed uh, uh, Auditor General, Mrs. Uh, Johnson something something. Now that report says, and I want to reference it, it says that 500 million Ghana cities of COVID money was spent outside Gifmes. It's only a thief that will spend money outside Gifmes. Do you know why? They want to avoid tracing. Because the government system is a mechanism by the finance ministry itself 
captured under the Ghana uh, 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 the uh, Public Financial Management Act. It is a mechanism to ensure transparency. It's a mechanism to catch the thief. So what Akufado Baumia did in 2020 is to spend 500 million Ghana cities out of Gitmes. Thieves. And they didn't want anybody to trace where the money went. Election spending. And you dare say what? COVID-19, Russia, Ukraine. Today, even Ukraine and Russia, where the bombs are dropping, they are doing better. You know what the problem was? Akufado brought his brother. How does his brother become an issue here? Akufado brought his brother as our finance minister. We thought they were coming to govern. We never knew they were into plunder. So, from 2017 to 2021, Eurobond alone, 11 billion dollars. So, whilst your finance minister was doing the Eurobond borrowing, he was making money for the Akufado family. I don't understand. The explanation is that Data Bank has also been, uh, if you take a look, uh, a key bookmarker for Ghana. At the time when Data Bank was there, Data Bank CEO or founder was not the one designing the quantum of how much we borrow and commission to pay. Look at the LI, the Public Financial Management Regulation. It's the finance minister. So you have a situation where the finance minister was now deciding that I have to go and borrow two billion. And guess what? He was doing consistently two billion dollars of euro bond borrowing annually. In fact, in the year 2022, he wanted to go and do further Eurobond borrowing. Then the credit rating agencies downgraded us. That is what stopped us from doing that. But you see, the painful part, so that I can just... Please wrap up for me. If you look at the data, and I have the data here. If you look at the data, allocation to the Office of Government Machinery, that is where the issues are. Look, in 2017... 1.5 billion was allocated to the Office of Government Machinery. 2018, 1.9 billion. 2019, now listen up. From 1.9 billion in 2018 to 3.6 billion Office of Government Machinery. 2020, 2.5 billion. 2021, 3.1 billion. This is where your money is going to. The Office of Government Machinery. Now, you know the painful part. Whilst Ghanaians are wallowing in pain, agony, whilst the hardship is beating everybody to rate, our president decided to have a lifestyle of, you know, using luxurious private jets, paying $18,000 in some instances. Now, painfully, 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 and I want to maybe conclude on this. You see, you Roland, you have money. Would you do fifty-eight million dollars on a cathedral? I don't. You are, you are saying that mm. there's been unprioritized expenditure. Absolutely, fifty-eight million dollars in building a hole, in digging a hole, a useless hole for that matter. Two million on sky train. Where is the sky train? Roland, as you speak, ask this man. He just came back from Saudi. Ask him, where is the sky trade that they spent two million dollars on? Forty million dollars on a so-called a Japan yeah, deal right. that became a fiasco. Please wrap up. Two point five million dollars on mortar angel. All this money, you think it, it belongs to Akufa? And this is a man together with Balmia who preached that we are going to protect the public purse. Is that how to protect the public purse? Well, DJ, um. Going you see, forward with what you've said, we will need some clarification. I listen, from, I listen to from, from Dr. No, Ghani, so, so that Dr. Kamsin. Oh, today we are two MPP reps. No, it's that's, not an MPP. No, no, that's fine. Technical, it doesn't technical matter. Advisor. He's an MPP person. It's a, it's a you technical see, advisor. The, 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 finance the, 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 finance, the finance minister, the finance minister okay. made a point. He said, oh, participation. How was that participation? The, the former chief justice, Sophia Akuf, uh, Akufo, makes this point. He said the DDP was like a military coup. And that even under military regimes, they respected the rights of citizens. Mm. Government basically imposed the DDP on people. Personal bondholders, persons who have saved their money to use in retirement, to buy diabetes drugs, 
BP drugs have lost all their money, and you sit here and tell Ghanaians what? Look, now let's bring Dr. Gadi. Dr. Gadi, good morning to you. What is going on is painful, and you guys, the least you can do Dr. is Dr. Gadi, good morning to you. For this incompetence, not to come and sit on national television and gaslight. Dr. Gani, good morning.